And the CBS poll, he went up eight points since yeah. the last month. Which I don't know if, if CBS and, and the media thinks it's a total junk poll, they should just come out and say so. But instead, it's just like, uh, it doesn't exist. It literally yeah. doesn't exist because it doesn't fit the narrative. And, uh, and, and we, we, it, we've seen this show before. Yeah, and Eric, it's even more amazing given the media coverage of every everything is a negative about Biden. Oh, yeah. About I mean, it just it, as I was just reading some tweets about the jobs numbers. I mean that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were less than expected, but that to try to get your head around that he's created twice as many jobs at this point in his administration as yeah. any in administration in history, and you don't and, see that anywhere. Um, unemployment no, yeah, rate I under mean, at four point eight percent. It's just you know. Wages are up. Unemployment's yeah, down. You don't. You do not hear it portrayed the way it actually is. And that's what I was going to say. Wages are up. Unemployment rate is down. If you read to the fifteenth paragraph of the New York Times, they would explain the numbers. One of the reasons the numbers didn't hit expectations. There's a quirk in terms of how they count public school jobs. Uh, yeah. So I mean, you know, but it, it you know it didn't hit the numbers, so it's a big deal. Also. You know, this idea, remember in the spring, you know, the, re the press echoed this baseless Republican claim that there weren't enough workers because the government was paying people and they're lazy. Yeah. Well, guess what? All those state benefits ended and there's still a worker shortage. Right. And no one's ever going to apologize to U.S. workers for the press and the Republicans calling them lazy. Yeah. No, I, I, I heard it on my vacation, the talking point. Oh, people are, don't want to work. They don't want to stay home and cash their unemployment checks. I mean, it, it's just, well, you, I love your, uh, this is a cult part infinity. This one is uh, when they interview these mm -hmm. Trump rally goers. Trump, Rich Thomas says oh he's God. at the Trump rally in Iowa today to personally deliver legal documents to give to Trump for his legal team. Our King Jesus Christ has spoken to put you back in uh, your office in the White House. I mean... <laughs> There's just no sort of, you're right, they're afraid to say how many truly crazy people are, yeah. are out there, right? That, you know, here is a crazy person who is in a cult. That's not how it's presented, right? No, no, not at all. These are just hardworking folks. You know, they're, they're just fans of Trump. And my gosh, doesn't Trump have an amazing hold on the Republican base? All this nonsense. Uh, and, and, you know, it, it, it's brainwashing. And But it, the press is not... You know, you can't talk about brain. We're, we're talking about the Republican Party. You know, yeah. it's just a center right party. Well, and you wrote a piece. Uh, America isn't guaranteed a happy ending. Uh, I mean, again, Eric, you're one of the many that's been sounding the clarion call for a long time. And it's, you know, certainly Joy Reid and Malcolm Nance yep. and, you know, yep. Sarah Kenzior and, and me. And, you know, a lot of people are just the urgency of this moment. I mean, your piece goes right to it. Trump Republicans are methodically and unapologetically out to derail American democracy. Yet there remains a strong working media assumption that it can't happen here. Um, and you, you quoted Hillary, who's. Tell yeah, me when she's been crazy. wrong, Travis. Never mind about the, <laughs> when I die. Um, she said, I'm astonished more people don't see or can't face America's existential crisis. She fears our democracy will soon be broken and taken over and minor minority rule will be what we li live under, the norm. Um, Stuart Stevens, Republican yeah, strategist, really you, like you, quote. You, quote and, you quote him saying, my plea to Democrats would be just to understand what's at stake here. The problem King George had was he couldn't imagine the creation of an American democracy and we suffer from the same problem. We can't imagine the, Ameri the ending of American democracy, but it can happen. Um, Robert Kagan, the piece we've all been talking about for weeks, right? The amateur stop the steal efforts of 2020 have given way to an organized nationwide campaign to ensure that Trump and his supporters will have control over state and local election officials that they lacked in 2020. And as you say, or one of the problems is it's all being done in plain sight. Uh, so. Yet there remains a stubborn newsroom assumption that American democracy cannot be systematically steamrolled. I heard someone else say, it might have been Joan Walsh this week, you know, weekend, that I think we're used to the Nixon, like it's hidden and they lie yes. about it and the tapes come out. I think because this has always all been out in the open, there's a yeah. like, well, it can't, must, it can't really be wrong. It's like, no, it, <laughs> the fact that he wrote down everything in the coup, 
that means that that's evidence. It doesn't mean it's not. But that, I think, is one of the problems, isn't it? Wall Street Journal piece, NPR, just classic. Trump goes to Iowa. This is what it means. This is how he's polling. He's going to freeze out the field. Yeah. Not one mention in these articles that this, he was just the, the Senate just confirmed nine times he tried to interfere with an overthrown election. That's not part of the campaign coverage. Yeah. No, Eric, it is. I mean, we, it's often been said there was no Fox News during Nixon or he would have That's survived. Right. Like it, there was not oh, two sets of quote unquote facts, except right. one side is complete lies. It, it is uniquely perilous time we find ourselves yeah. in. And you you go down, like as you always do, you such a great job of doing statistics. Seven in 10 Republicans don't believe Joe Biden won. Uh, 66% of red state Republicans want to secede from the United States, um, despite the fact that fraud in Arizona found no proof of wrongdoing. Republicans eagerly sponsoring similar assaults on election integrity all across the country. Um, a day after results from Arizona confirmed Biden won, Trump announced at a rally the ballot review proved he won. The tra- Travis Barney headquarters firebombed in Texas. You say across the country, Trump supporters are hanging black American flags out in front of their homes. And as you say, the whole problem is how the press covers this. Yeah, and, and, and I point out the press doesn't seem to have a vested interest in America having a functioning democracy. The press seems to be, I'm talking to like, you know, the mainstream elite news reporters. They seem to see, and producers and editors, their job is to document the demise of our democracy. And, and that's it. And you can't pick sides. And because if you, if you stand in, in, on the side of democracy and free and fair elections, uh, that means you're biased. And, and that means Trump and Republicans will come after you. So Trump is is ginning the system. He knows that yeah. the press will back down, back down, back down and not call this stuff. Let up. me end with Eric Bollard saying it's a defining crisis. Our founding fathers could never have ima- imagined. It's how democracy dies. And yes, it can happen here. That's the rephrase, the, the refrain we keep we need to keep saying it can yeah. happen here. All right, uh, Eric, thank you so much. Another clarion call. <laughs> I'm going deaf from clarion calls. And okay. Did you notice he has a new Zoom light? You oh, know? he's um, yeah. so even more fantastically handsome than Absolutely. usual. Mm, all right. S- <laughs> save that, save that fancy light just for the TV shows. Yes. Come on. All right. <laughs> Thanks, 20- Eric.